Hi guys, Simon of Travel Agent Hanoi. I know it was kind of a clickbait title, but I don't really care because this is for a Vietnam charity. So stay tuned if you wish to know more. Okay guys, so today I'm gonna to take a little walk around the village, but also talk to you about a very important cause that is being done by the Blue Dragon Children's Foundation. Now they've been going for over 15 years and they've been providing homeless children with accommodation, food and drink, but also they're stopping or searching for young women who have been trafficked into China as brides, slaves or, or worse, prostitution or whatever. So Blue Dragon provides all this help that they need and what I'm doing uh, on Sunday the 9th of October I'm going to be walking 42 kilometers a marathon for this charity and I need your money so please dig deep if you can't dig deep just stick a dollar in two dollars it doesn't matter it really all goes towards the blue dragon and every single penny or cent will go to the charity nothing goes to me or any intermediary it all goes to Blue Dragon and the kids so what what do they do so basically there's rescue and emergency care <laughs> educational support thank you vocational training family assistance so for over 15 years they've been they've been going around sweatshops and brothels and villages deep within China and they found it uh, very difficult, of course, um, but once they found vulnerable Vietnamese children or women, girls, they've actually got them out legally um, through the courts, etc., and uh, prosecuted the people who have taken them. You see, what happens in the northern, the most northern villages on the border to China is they come over and they, they kidnap young children or girls and take them over into China to do whatever they think they wish and it's disgusting so guys please dig deep and stick five dollars ten dollars I want to I want to have more donations by the end of this video it's only going to be a short video but it's going to be a, a well worth one so hey let's uh, look a bit more into uh, Blue Dragon so there's a lot of uh, children that are uh, very vulnerable um, they're in poor families in the in the outs, you know, in the uh, outer regions, in the minority villages. They've got no money, no work, nothing coming in. And what happens is the children do end up in in the big cities like Da Nang or uh, Hanoi, Ho Chi Minh City, and it's uh, where they try to earn a living. Now, what happens is the pimps or these nasty people. They come and they find these gir girls and boys and they exploit them. Really terrible. You've probably seen some kids walking around Hanoi Old Quarter selling sweets and all sorts. Well, they will have been picked up by somebody and actually they are kind of looked after. But please, when you do see these kids, don't offer them money because they don't see any of the money, especially at Tet time. If you're here in Vietnam during Tet, don't give them money, give them something to eat. I remember one time we gave a plate of food to a couple of kids, it was actually in Cambodia, and they wolfed it down. These kids were starving. You give them money, that money goes to those pimps. So please, when you see these kids selling stuff, don't give them money, give them food. <laughs> so um, yeah, um, the, these kids uh, that are coming from the villages, the local villages, they tend to, uh, they're very vulnerable to uh, people getting hold of them and, uh, and uh, exploiting them. So what they do, they try and hide from these guys and where they hide is unbelievable. Um, you may have seen my Long Bien bridge exploring underneath it. Well, these, get, these kids will actually hide in the stanchions and uh, try to evade these pimps, these people. Um, they're scared, scared to bits that they'll be taken by these guys. So they hide in these places and they sleep. 
and uh, one day I might be able to show you exactly where they sleep and you'll see how high it is it's unbelievable so and very dangerous you know it's high up some of it's over the river but some of it's over land because there is banana island underneath underneath long Bien, as you'll see from my other video and you'll see that it's uh, precarious to be sleeping there very dangerous so guys again dig deep and hopefully we can help stop these kids coming into Hanoi to try and work. We can get them into accommodation, we can get them fed, we can get them educated. It's all a worthwhile cause, guys. So the, the donation link is in the description below. And also at the moment, I think I've got about $500, $548 donated so far. And thank you guys for the people who have donated. That's really, really helps the, char the, uh, the, the charity. But please guys, I, I made $2,000 last year without really trying. Uh, but this year I really want to go all out and push for it. I want $5,000 guys, I want it. And if I do get over 5,000 before the day, set the 9th of October, I will walk 51 kilometers. Why 51 kilometers? Because that's my age. It's a good job I'm not any older. <laughs> So and I'm not doing it in miles, guys, from the UK or America. 26, if I do 52, 51 kilo, uh, miles, that's bloody twice. So guys, it's just a little village where I walk about to, to tell you about this charity. Ah, oh, somebody's just come to visit me. Our golden retriever, Ginger. Ginger! What are you doing out here? Huh? Looking for rats, no doubt. Get it, Ginger. Go on, get it. Where is it? Go on. Where are they? Get them. Okay. So this is a nice little area, guys. If you ever wanted to visit, give us a shout. We've had a few subscribers turn up already. Joanne and Keith and uh, Thomas. If you want to come out and visit us, go for a bike ride walk around the village do do contact us but uh, first of all first things first click that donate button guys we want your money they want your money it's going to be a well worthwhile cause and definitely definitely please follow along and watch me on the live stream on the 9th of october you think this is beautiful wait till you're seeing him bin Woo! cracking cracking place Thanks guys, thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed the little walk around and please do subscribe and uh, click that bell to be notified of new videos. I'm off to Hoi An and Da Nang next month so uh, that's going to be exciting. I'm not going to do just the normal vlogging type thing that you see on all the YouTube channels. Do something slightly different so do stay tuned to that. See you soon.